I want you to walk me through after Alice died, I want you to walk me through that day with Wendy again. Okay? Close your eyes. Remember as much as you can about that day for me. I, the day I, I decided that I, I, the day I decided I, I couldn't take her suffering anymore. I went to Wendy, and I, I, I told her, I told her what I wanted to do. And Where were you when you had the conversation? I, 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 I was in the foyer. Um, I was in the foyer. Uh, that's where I found her. By check-in, by check-in at the PMB. She she was working the check in and and I told her I told her I needed to talk to her and I told her I couldn't take her pain anymore I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't stand it anymore and that the only the only right thing to do was to let her go was was to send mommy home to send her to heaven that's what I told her tell but me she, how you remember Wendy well. She was what upset. was she wearing she was, that she was, day that you told her that? Uh, she, she was wearing her, uh, her, her favorite, her favorite cap that that, that that Alice made for her for her 60th birthday. <laughs> she she always wears it all the time. She still wears it, <laughs> and and uh, she was wearing her. A red shirt, a red T-shirt, and you know, her. She she doesn't dress up a whole lot, you know. <laughs> She's she likes to be comfortable, mm -hmm. and uh, so she she has a pair of black uh, black sweatpants that she likes to wear a lot. She was wearing that, but she she was really really angry with me, and she told me that if I did it, that she would leave, and I would never see her again. And, and we fought. We got such a, a, a bad fight. We fought and we fought. And I tried to make her understand. I wasn't going to make mommy feel any pain. I was just going to give her a lot of the pain medicine and let her slip away. That's, that was what my plan was. And, and that's what I did. But she, she didn't want mom to go. She wasn't ready to let go. And I understand, I know that she loved Mama, I know that she loved her very much, just as much as I did, but I I was in so much pain watching her and her pain. I knew, I knew this was the right thing to do. What happened with Wendy? Tell me about Wendy. She slapped me. And she hit me. And I don't blame her. I don't. I don't. She punched me in the arm, and then she left, and she got in her car, and she sped away, and I was yelling after her, Wendy, don't go, Wendy, because I need her, I need her, oh, and then she left, she's gone, she's gone, and, and she, and what happened that night, Norm? Do you remember? No. No. The night Wendy left. No. Someone came. Someone came to see you at the D&D. Do you remember? I know it's hard, Norm. I need you to remember back to that day. No. You can do it. I'm here for you. No. Norm, remember. Please. The police. The police came. The police came, okay? The police came. Is that what you wanted to hear? Go further, Norm. I know you can go further. Why did the police come? What did they tell you? Oh, Norm, 
please. Norm, you're almost there. I'm so proud of you. I can't remember. No. It's all right. Norm? You do. What did the police tell you? There was a. There was a car accident. I killed her. I killed her. You didn't kill Wendy. You didn't kill Wendy. No. You listen to me, Norm. You didn't kill Wendy. You didn't kill anybody. <laughs> if I wasn't so selfish, she never would have laughed like that. She, she hey, 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 hey. You were not selfish. What you did was out of love. When you died that day.